start fishing. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. It's um just after lunchtime and we're gonna punch out, go into about 50, 60 meters of water and start dropping some baits. We've got some squid, we've got some pillies. The weather's actually not meant to be that good, but in the harbor here, it's glassed off. So hopefully I'm not too bad to run out. Alrighty, I don't know if I was clear last time, but this actually isn't our boat. We didn't buy it. <laughs> We're just borrowing it off Reef Marine because they're the dealer for these sportsman boats. And they said, hey, have a crack at one of these. And we're like, yeah, boy. Look at all the dolphins. What's that, Toro? What is it? Look how many there are. They're all coming. Oh, Toro. What are they? All right, we're just following those dolphins and um, we're still heading out to a spot and I come back down to the sounder and the dolphins have run us over this little rock and the sounder's not even zoomed in yet. So um, we'll just pop the electric down and we'll get the uh, rods ready and we'll have a drop on that. Rock, paper, scissors on who's gonna fish and who's gonna film. Okay. Chop, chop, I fish. Chop, chop, I fish. All right, let's do it. I was setting up a Mackie rod. <laughs> And he hooked a good one. Go. Okay. <laughs> yes. Finally. Oh. Do you want the cushion? Oh, I thought I had it right there. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> Kept catching like little one after little one for a bit there. Went to set up a Mackie rod to float out the back and Larissa's was like, oh. That's a better fish, isn't it? Definitely a lot better. I'm not sure about the 60 meter reel up. Shall <laughs> <laughs> we get close? Any color, Tyro? What have we got, buddy? He's got first look anyway. Stopped. Oh, yes. Little nanny. Nice one. We'll take that. We'll take that. Nice pan sized fish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get her in the boat. First little nanny of the day. It's not huge, but it'll be a perfect pan size. So we'll chuck this on the ice. We've already bled it, and we'll get try to get Joshua fish. Oh, as soon as I hit the bottom, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> I think I just got my bait then. Oh, no, 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 no. Still playing with it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ah, yeah. This has got to be bigger than yours. <laughs> that way bigger than mine. <laughs> yes, Taro, what are we pulling up? <laughs> Hell yeah. No. There's a school of whatever this is. There's a school of them taking up like the bottom four meters. Yeah, oh, I can nanny. see it. Yeah. Oh, did I just pull up a head? No, did ya? Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. That's devastating. Didn't even realise you were racing the sharks. Didn't even know. I've just seen it. Felt it stop like pulling, but I thought it must have just got up too high. Just give us a look. Oh, you poor bugger. Bloody Turn sharks. Oh. Wow. Oh. Right, I found like a little bit of ground, but not like a whole lot. So we're just gonna try and drift and um, see if there's any more rocks and see if this doesn't bring the sharks in. See what happens. Wish me luck. Go this side. Yeah. There you go. There's a good fish. Good fish. That's what we're in for. Harper. Who's killing who today? 
I don't know, let's see if we can get it up. Yeah, guys. That looks like red. Oh. I think it's taking me into a hole. Nah, I keep pulling up. Pull it up, give it some stick. Tighten your drag a little bit. Lost it. No, you still got it. Yeah, you turned it dead. That's a big red A. Yeah. Do you want help? Just gonna try and reef you, eh? New technique. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> I'm done with today. I cannot catch a break, so. Just gives up the moment yeah. she doesn't beat me. <laughs> so Josh is going to keep dropping now. <laughs> oh, another crash. Big bait on. Big bite. Yep. Gotcha. Good fish. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that tastes better. Hopefully, no sharks here. I shouldn't jinx it. Touch wood, there's no wood around. Don't say the word shark. <laughs> yes, come on, up you come. Oh, what is it, Tyro? This is a proper fish. Come on. Oh, we needed oh. this. <sighs> oh. Come on. I'm using my knees. <laughs> yeah, it seems good because that's on the big rod too, hey? Yeah, that's the big rod. Yeah, it's sweet. Oh. Come on. Up you come. Good fish. My arms. Oh, red emperor. Oh, really? Woo! Oh. It's a red emperor. Me too. Woo! Look at that. Up we come. In the boat. Hey! We got red on deck! Yes! Oh. Persistence paid off. We drove around for like an hour and a half trying to find another spot. Yeah! How's that? Nice quality red emperor. Add that to Larissa's nana guy. And we're starting starting to get an okay little box in there. Bloody awesome. The rest is still KO'd from earlier, so I'll get another drop. I didn't even get to the bottom. Oh, I'm on the reef. I'm on the reef. Oh, this did not even get to the bottom. That's a bit better. Alright. Oh, that's a better fish. That's no baby. That's going in the ice box. Oh, no. Oh, I just got shafted. And... No! Just seen, it's just there. Monster shark. No! There's only the one there now. Oh no, the two. The sharks have been annihilating us all day. I'm gonna find one more rock and then we'll probably cruise in. We'll just out for a quick session, but we're I found some really good ground out here, I reckon. Some red ground, but the sharks, sometimes they just smash you and then sometimes they leave you alone, but the sharks are feeding today. Alrighty, last rock. It's only about 200 meters away, so sharks will be here already. Oh, there we go. Yep. That fish. Race the sharks. Come on, get oh, it no. up. Get it up. What's going on? Oh no. What? There's a shark on it. Go, go, go. Get away go. from it. Get away from it. Oh no, it's not a shark. What is that? Big cobia. I've hooked a big cobia. Oh yeah. Even better. Sick, Cobia. Oh, all right. 
Oh shit! He's so green still. I pulled him up so quick. Oh, big shark down there. Hey! Yeah! Have a go at this. I haven't caught one of these since Western Australia days. A nice big cobia. And man, we know an unreal cook up to show you guys with this fish. You know, some people turn their nose up at it. Not us. Not reef addicts, baby. We love these fish. And all those sharks hassling us today. Oh, this is rewarding. I don't know, those red emperor and nannies, they're good. But catching a fish like this, that's special. Woo! Alrighty, we're gonna um, call it that unless we find anything while we're steaming back in. It's pretty good for an Arvo sesh. I mean, you, you got, did good. You got <laughs> smashed. But um, a couple of hours out here and we got a nanny, a nanny head, <laughs> a red, oh, a red head and a big cobia, so I reckon after work tomorrow we'll head down to the beach or we'll do something. <laughs> What's wrong? You don't want to go in. Like a little baby. After work tomorrow we'll do something and show you a U-Butte cook up with a cobia. Oh, we haven't had that in ages. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll see us when we see us. Alright guys, it's fillet time and I'm not going to bore you with a fillet. I just got a quick little bit of a Yarn for you. Alright. We got Larissa's nanny guy here that she got yesterday, and I know that there's some comments coming saying it's small and whatever. But so I thought I'd chuck it on the brag mate to show you. It's actually 56 centimeter fish, and 40 is the legal size limit. And um I think even myself get carried away. You'll see on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, Joe Blow just catching monsters and like us sometimes catching monsters. But you gotta remember where you started and um, when you started fishing, if you knew you were gonna go out and catch one of these at 55, you would have been stoked. So um, just remember Instagram and all that stuff. It's a highlight reel and um, you still gotta be stoked with that and look at the bright side because it's probably a better eating fish. Larissa thought I was picking on her, explaining her small fish. So I'll do the same with my red emperor. <laughs> Look at this one. This is about like 62, 63 or whatever. And they've only got to be 55. So it's a legal fish. It's probably going to taste better than a 10 to 12 kilo one. Even though they do still taste good. But you got to be happy no matter what. If you get out on the water and you get a feed, you got to be happy. You can't just be like comparing yourself to everything online. That's my Sunday motivational speech. <sighs> Alright guys, I owe you a bit of an apology. We have been flat stick and we haven't had time to do a cook up. So there's not going to be a cook up this video. We've been flat out between working and building this. I'm building a big shed carport thing because we have something that's going to go in there. You can guess what it is. But yeah, just been flat out. I've got a, got a fair bit of work ahead of me over the next few afternoons. Get the beams up, C-section and that, and get that all ready, because we've got something coming, and we're excited, and I really want to tell you guys what it is, but I can't yet, so, anyways, but we are going, look at me, i got materials everywhere, Lewis is going to kill me, let's do a quick run through on this boat, because we've got to give it back soon, and it's going to be for sale, I think, so, if you're interested, keep watching. We'll start here, the trailer, they come they're on a savage trailer, solid thing, they got bunks under there, on and off, nice and easy. So the donk, I think it's a 150 on this one, 150 donk, got trim tabs, you got lights, they change colour too, squid lights, you want to get in, show them, go on, ladder platform excuse me in my way there mate alrighty so we might we'll go and jump up the front of the boat so starting up the front electric motor Minn Kota first hatch it's just got safety gear in it down the back down the back down the back down the back uh, second hatch and it's got a bag with an anchor in it 
um, bag with some life jackets, anchor light. Watch your head, buddy. And then this thing, this is something that Reefy's made the mold for, and it's actually an esky, but it extends the cast deck. Um, little hatch there. And it's actually really good, holds ice nicely. That one. Under this one, you have a big lithium battery and switches and stuff to power the encoder. I haven't used this, but this is live scope, so this will go in here at the front, and um, in here is just a, the bait board at the moment. Goes down the side, but there is another sounder, another Simrad sounder that goes up there, so you can live scope, see where the fish are, cast at them. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, also a bit of storage and stuff in there. Rod holders, each side of the console there. Net and gaff in that one. Fuel filler, got rod holders, cup holders. There is, for this one, I don't know if it's an option or not, but this one has cushions that go on here and there. And I'm pretty sure there's a cushion set for the front as well. Got the Yummy Smart gauges, so it tells you exactly what fuel you've used and that. Pretty cool. Wireless phone charger, put your phone in there, holds it on. JL audio system in this boat, she cranks. Um, your trim tabs, your big sounder, obviously. Um, what do we got here? So we got wash down there, salt water wash down, extendable hose thing. If you've been watching the videos in this boat, you'd know. Um, nav lights, they're up the front side of the boat. A bilge pump, but that's automatic. Um, one of these, I forget. How is this? So that's a live bait well. Um, and obviously you can take this out and get it deeper or just leave it in there for shallower. Um, more rod holders. Cabin lights. And you got a light there and a light there. And you can change that from like a white to a red. You got a rocket launcher rod holders. You got two out the side. We used them for trolling the other day. That's pretty good. What else we got? This boat has you would have seen um, what's it called autopilot so that's a emergency cutoff autopilot I'm pretty sure this knob changes the color that the speakers put out um, obviously master power switch and under here you can get that off with one hand that's your marine radio you got a glove box in there and then this one here couple tackle boxes got the little esky for food and drinks and stuff and then I'll just show you this setup in here just give these a twist you've got your batteries and I'll just give you a look it's got a house battery for all your accessories a start battery a battery and then emergency parallel in case you get in trouble but you should never really get in trouble I think that's part of the self-draining deck and yeah I don't think I've missed anything but that's just a quick run over of this boat if anyone's interested in getting it after us hit a reef marine up but um yeah I think we're still going to get to use it a couple more times um that's all short and sharp hopefully I've got covered everything in the boat yeah that should be everything but that's another episode done and dusted and sorry about the cook up, but we'll make it up to you on the next episode. I hope. Cheers guys.